Well, the outgoing United Nations envoy, Stefan de Mysteria, uh, will use his final month in office to push for the formation of a constitutional committee charged with rewriting the constitution of Syria. During a briefing to the council in New York, the 71-year-old envoy who has led the UN mediation efforts on Syria for over four years announced he would step aside for personal reasons in the last week of November. But sticking points about the composition of the Constitutional Committee remain, particularly with the Syrian government. He's the longest serving of UN Syria envoys, following in the footsteps of former UN chief Kofi Annan and Algerian diplomat Lakhdar Brahimi, and says he's doing so because of family commitments. I've been uh, always been indicating to the Secretary General my plans for personal reasons, which is not health, it's family basically. <laughs> so no speculation on that. I am I'm touching wood, I'm fine, and I'm not even tired because this has been giving me a lot of adrenaline, this type of mission. It is actually because there is also a family which deserves, after four years and four months, a little bit of attention. So it was always the plan to do it sometime in November. But uh, the whole idea is to actually try to do it in the most effective way. ...to Damascus in a few days' time for talks with the Syrian government that has objected to the composition of the proposed Constitutional Committee. A Syrian peace conference held in Russia last January agreed to the formation of a Constitutional Committee comprising 150 members, with a third of those chosen by the government, a third from the opposition, and a third by the United Nations. Syria has objected to the UN list made up of experts, civil society, tribal leaders and women, among others. De Mistura says he remains optimistic the committee can meet before his term ends in one month. The argument is that if there is a political will, there is no reason, no reason whatsoever for the Constitutional Committee not to be able to be convened during the month of November. We are ready. We have done a lot of homework, 10 months of preparation. The main reason so far for the delay in conveying the in Geneva, the Constitutional Committee, is frankly the difficulties that the government of Syria has to accept the current third list that has been prepared by the UN as per the Sochi Declaration and the Resolution 2254. A group of current and incoming European Council members gave its full backing to the special envoy. Our full support for the efforts of Staffan de Mistura, special envoy for Syria, to establish urgently a credible and legitimate constitutional committee to advance the United Nations efforts to achieve a sustainable political solution to the conflict in Syria in line with the Security Council Resolution 2254. We underscore the Special Envoy's authority to establish an inclusive constitutional committee, including the participation of a minimum of 30% women, that will begin the work of drafting a new Syrian constitution and laying the groundwork for free and fair UN-supervised elections consistent with Security Council Resolution 2254. The UN envoy has made clear they would not be ready to convene a committee that is not credible and balanced. Sherman Bricepies, SABC News, New York.